The Colts and Jonathan Taylor could be headed to a divorce very soon. It was reported that the Colts were giving Taylor permission to seek a trade. Taylor had been with the Colts since 2020 and has been one of the best running backs in the entire league. Two years ago, he had led the league in rushing with 1,811 yards and 18 touchdowns. The Wisconsin product also averaged 106 yards per game and 332 attempts. The 24-year-old running back wanted to be traded after Jim Ursay made comments regarding running backs and why they shouldn't be paid. Ursay said Taylor would never be traded regardless of what they were offered. However, a month since its comments, it seems as if the Colts are done with Taylor. The 2021 Pro Bowl running back had been at Colts training camp but did not participate. Because he was not participating, the Colts decided to send Taylor home. He has been out the last two weeks. According to reports, JT has also been having treatment on his ankle after injuring it last season that caused him to miss a few games. Adam Schefter of ESPN reported that the Colts were looking for a first round pick or what the Panthers received for Christian McCaffrey. Tom Palisaro of the NFL Network also reported that the Colts were not taking anything less than that. Colts owner Jim Irsay also said that running backs were negotiating in bad faith after they requested for bigger contracts. However, Taylor's agent dismissed Irsay's comments and responded by saying bad faith is not paying your top offensive player. Then, after Taylor requested trade, the Colts first refused and were going to place him on the football injury list due to a back injury. Although JT was never injured and tweeted this, never had back pain, never reported back pain, not sure who sources are, but find new ones. The Colts star player only has one year left in his contract and wants the, and wants the biggest contract for a current running back in the NFL. The Colts have seemed to not be interested in giving Taylor a new deal. They have even failed to offer the Wisconsin product a new contract. With only less than three weeks to go before the start of the year, Taylor could be headed to a new destination. According to reports, there are a few teams that are interested in acquiring Taylor as they have reached out to the Colts. We will see what teams will make an offer for him in the coming weeks.